Hi, I'm going to give you an overview of the Wi-Fi Analyzer open source app. So when the app first loads, it takes you to the access points page where you can see every access point that's visible to your device. The color indicates the strength of each access point. At the top of each section, you can see the network name and the MAC address. Uh, it shows you the channel that they're running on as well as the access point security with the little locks there. Uh, at the very top, highlighted in light gray here, is the network that your device is currently connected to, as well as the, the speed and IP address that you have. In the top right corner, there's this filter icon. So if we select that, you could filter the access point list by a number of options. Uh, so say if you didn't want to see any of the poor quality networks, you could deselect those first three icons. And when we hit apply, we see only access points that are uh, of a reasonable strength that I would want to connect to. So next we're going to hit the menu option in the top left corner and we'll select the channel rating page. So this shows a rating of, of all the channels on the current band uh, and based on the signal strength of the access points and how crowded the channel is, it receives a rating. So you can see in my area, all of the 2.4 band is quite crowded and you can see the access point count is saying how many different access points are running on each channel, so it's quite crowded. But if at the top we select 5 gigahertz, we can see the 5 gigahertz band is much more available. So it's recommending uh, a list of channels there that are available and we can see them with green stars on the list. So the next thing I want to show you is the channel graph. So if we slide this menu out, we can select channel graph. Uh, and the first thing I'll show you is on the 2.4 gigahertz band, you can see the problem we saw on the previous page where there's a ton of traffic across all of the channels. But on the 5 gigahertz band, uh, although there's a little bit of traffic, uh, you can see here on the lower channels, if we scroll over, uh, we can see that there's, there's not much traffic on the higher channels, so we might be able to get a network set up there. So the next thing we can show you is the time graph here. So this is on the 2.4 gig band, which as we saw earlier is quite crowded. Uh, you can see a graph over time of all the different networks the device can see. Uh, so you can see it's quite busy. Uh, the, the slightly thicker yellow line towards the top that's shaded underneath, that's the network you're currently connected to. So if we see that towards the top, you're probably going to be in a good spot. So one other thing I want to show you guys, uh, if we pull this out and look at the settings for the app, the, the, you can change a few different things about the app. This first option, scan interval, is how frequently the app scans. Um, the next four options uh, change how the access points page is shown. So you could change how they're sorted. Uh, currently, access points with the same name are grouped together if they're repeated on several channels, but you could change that. Uh, the connection display and access point display offer you a more compact view of the network you're connected to as well as the network points that are available to you. These next three are about the graphs. You could change the, the range of the graphs or the legends. Um, that's fairly self-explanatory. And then just a few other settings about the app. It could turn the Wi-Fi off when you, when you leave the app. Uh, this start is a, a interesting feature where if you find that you usually only want to see the channel graph, you could choose to have the channel graph be the, the default page that it's open to when you launch the app. And finally, you can change the country that you're working in as well as the preferred language. Thanks. So that's all the settings. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video uh, and hope you enjoyed the app. Feel free to leave us a rating there. Once again, we're an open source project, so if you'd like to contribute, we'd love to have you. We're on GitHub. Uh, but most of all, hope you enjoy using the app.